Women are not the prize. Ladies, you are not the prize. I don't know how many more times the men have to tell you that you are not the prize. And I just don't understand why you're arguing with these men about you being the prize or not the prize. Don't you know? You don't know. You know I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. It's Monday morning. Good morning. Happy Monday to one and all. Thank you for your love and support. <laughs> My husband came in from dropping the baby off to morning here. Thank you for your love and support. Did you hang with me last night? Love is Blind. We were on live. I watched all three hours. Love is Blind, episodes six, seven, and eight. So go ahead and watch. I'm going to restream it later. I want to thank you for your love and support. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Thank you for everything you've done and given. Thank you for the cash apps. Thank you for reading my books, picking them up on Amazon, leaving me reviews. I absolutely love you. I know you're waiting for the new book and it's coming very, very soon. And I'm going to put it on a good sale for y'all because I know y'all been waiting. Okay. This thing about women being uh, being the prize. So I got an email in my Instagram, Janice. Um, what do, how can I help my boyfriend to understand that I am the prize. Well, first of all, you if you have a boyfriend, then you don't you not you don't understand that you are the prize, right? If you have a boyfriend that you're trying to change the mind, if you've been listening to my content any amount of time, you know we don't believe about boyfriends over here. And that's why he doesn't take you as the prize. He doesn't see you as the prize because he was able to take you off the market just by the words of his mouth with no ring, no diamond on your finger and have you in the basement, in the corner, under the rug, off the show floor so nobody else can see you. And now you're trying to convince him that you are the prize. Ladies, let's just take it over the Bible and see what the Bible says. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. Now, my daddy said that word fine means he needs to look for, search for, look underneath the table, go high, low, wide. If he needs to travel the ocean, get on a plane. If he needs to walk or take the train, baby, a man is a hunter and he must look for find his wife. What do hunters do? They hunt. And what do they do with their catch once they catch it? They show it off because their hunt is the prize. Uh -huh, I got you another one. I got, 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 got another one for you. Uh, who can find a virtuous woman because her prize is far above rubies? Okay, it's my 10 years anniversary. And I told my husband, I want me a ruby ring for my 10 years anniversary. Her price is what? Is far above rubies. So what that mean is you have to figure out the price of a ruby and then far above that is the price of a virtuous woman. I got another one for you, girl. I got another one. Since you're wasting your time trying to convince Vince, these bomb, these dusties, these hobo, H-O-B sexuals, these fixer males, builder ups these angry broke dusty pukirera and tyrone of a man that you are the prime book of proverbs talk about how a wife is the crown of her husband in other words you are the prize and you make him look good thank you jesus i have another one i have another one and since you don't know who you are and that you are the prize, boo -boo, please pick up in Christ I am. He talks in Peter that you are a chosen generation. Uh -huh, you are a royal priesthood. Come on, somebody. In Colossians, it talks about how you are a purchased 
position. Come on, somebody. I feel the Holy Ghost in my own. We know that Jesus came to do what? Redeem the church. What does redeem mean? It means to buy back. In other words, baby girl, you are the prize. And let me tell you something that most people don't understand about that word redeem and redemption. You see, when Adam sinned in the garden, right? Girl, this is so fun. Adam sinned in the garden. God was in heaven and God wanted to have family in the earth. And so he created the earth and he created the garden of Eden and he put Adam in there and he told Adam rule, have dominion, protect, watch over the garden. Don't let any imposters in, even though the serpent was already in the garden. Adam, that fool of a man, let me tell you, all of our problems, ladies, I just want y'all to all of our problems were brought on by Adam. These men out here are uh, blaming the woman in the manosphere, blaming women don't want to get married, but they want to screw you. Ladies, I want to tell you that is demonic. I'm going to do a video on that. Men who don't want to get married and don't want to marry women who have to come to themselves and say, we just not going to marry women. Baby, they must go probably marry men. But anyways, the Bible says that is demonic and is of the devil. Read the Bible. Anyways, when Adam gave the devil his authority and his power, for those of you who believe God is in control of everything in the earth, God came in the cool of the day and said, Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard your voice and I was naked, so I hid myself. God asked Adam, Adam, who told you you was naked? Come on, read the Bible. Now, he is God overall. He is in control, right? That's what y'all said. God is in control, right? How come God couldn't go to the devil, knock his head over, and take Adam's power and authority back and gave it to Adam? How come he didn't do that since he's in control? No, no. Let me tell you what God had to do. God set the price to redeem, to buy back the prize to redeem mankind and the prize was guess what sinless blood i gotta take a walk around my chair because god set the price to redeem mankind and the prize was sinless blood but God was the only one who has sinless blood, y'all. So he knew he had to die, baby. He knew the price to redeem mankind was his life. So he came through 40 and two generations from Adam right to the book of Matthew chapter one, where we see the genealogy of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we see Joseph and Jesus came through 42 generations. Why? Because you are the prize, baby. You don't let these broke, dusty men telling you you're not the prize. And you know what I realized? <clears throat> these men that's on YouTube and wherever struggling, these, these, they, they, they're not. I, I don't see any any of these men like my husband and his frat brothers. These are all Dusties, Pookies, Ray Rays who want to jump on some bad bodies bandwagon and spew stuff out, ladies. And you're over there listening instead of reading in Christ I Am. Getting all that stuff in your spirit instead of reading my books. Huh? The naked wife, take your cookie off the table. 23 types of guys you might meet. We Word of Wisdom de devotional, signing up for my husband profile course. You prefer to listen to that foolishness and you know it's not true. You know you are the prize because the Bible says so. Huh? Husband, love your wives like Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He died for her. You don't think a man is going to die? You think he's going to die for somebody that's not the prize? 
Husbands are to profess, protect, and provide. You think he gonna profess, protect, and provide for somebody that's not the prize? The reason why some of these men, ladies, want you to do 50-50 is because you're not the prize. They don't think you're the prize, especially when they can pay the whole amount. These men who have these big jobs that can provide. I read some the other day, this man make 300,000 and the girl make like 60,000 and he won 50-50 split. That's her problem. She's the fool. But I guarantee you when he meets a woman that is the prize, he gonna pay all the bills and take care of her. I love you, girl. I got to go. Be sure to check my other videos out. And my shorts, I absolutely love you. Let me know what you think. Mwah. Talk to you later. Bye.